Hey, let us talk about mythology again. This time, let us dive even further into our grim journey. But as always, before we are getting started, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, share this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it and beginning with the Slavic mythology. In Slavic mythology, Morana, also known as Marsana in Poland, Morena in the Czech Republic and Slovakia, and Mada in Eastern Slavic cultures, is a complex goddess associated with winter, death, and the cycle of nature's rebirth. She emerges as a significant figure that encapsulates the transition from the deadly cold of the winter to the fertile bloom of spring. Morana is often depicted as a powerful deity with dominion over winter and death. In mythology, she is seen as a bringer of the season's fatal chill, embodying the natural decay and dormancy of the winter. The representation links her closely with the themes of darkness and the end. Yet, she is also a crucial part of the cycle that leads to renewal and rebirth. Her role extends to guiding the souls of the deceased to the underworlds, again a common theme, underscoring her as a bridge between the living world and the afterlife. Her story is woven with elements of tragedy and power. In some legends, Urana is described as the daughter of Lada, the goddess of beauty and fertility, and an unnamed god of the underworld, highlighting her intrinsic connection to both life and death. This duality paints Urana not just as a symbol of an inevitable end, but also as a necessary force to ensure the continuity of life cycles. Morana's narrative is also enriched by tales of her interactions with other deities and symbols of different seasons, depicting her as a key figure in the mythological explanation of seasonal change. Each year, as winter recedes and spring approaches, her influence wanes, symbolizing the defeat of death and cold by the life-giving forces of spring a reoccurring theme that illustrates the perpetual struggle between the different forces of nature. Staying in the Slavic folklore, Veils is a shame-shifting deity often associated with the underworld, embodying roles that extend beyond his patronage of livestock and his lordship over waters. As a god of the underworld, Veles is depicted as a custodian of deceased souls marking him as a significant figure in the realm of death and the afterlife. His connection to the netherworld is symbolized by his frequent depiction as a serpent or dragon, creatures often linked with subterranean realms and deathly powers in various mythologies. While his role as a death god is intertwined with his attributes as a shapeshifter and trickster, in myths, he challenges Perun, the god of thunder and the heavens, by ascending from the underworld in various forms. Whether as animals, people, or even elements of nature, this ascendancy from below is not the cosmic order, but no, oh, no matter in what mythology, leading to battles that are both literal and symbolic representations of the cyclical struggle between life and death chaos and order. The aftermath of these battles, where Wales is defeated but not destroyed, represents the continuous cycle of death and rebirth, a fundamental aspect of Slavic belief systems regarding the natural world and the afterlife. Furthermore, Velas' domain over the underworld and its association with magic and mystic arts also underline his role as a mediator between the earthly and the ethereal guiding the spirits of the dead to their final resting places in the shadowy realms he governs. And this places well as at the heart of slavic rituals concerning death, where he is both revealed and propitiated as a pivotal figure who controls the fates of souls 
beyond their earthly existence. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.